Squad back on another video. Y'all see we got Mitch Herberg, hilarious stand up. Definitely wanted to react to him again on another video um, because um, the last video from yesterday, make sure I go check that out. Um, I said that I I don't I want to get used to his style. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I want to get different. used to his style. Yeah, it's definitely different. Um, I didn't know that he, he passed away. Um, seen a lot of people saying uh, rip in there. Um, oh, a lot of people. Yeah, it was saying rip, and I didn't know he had passed away and stuff like that. Um, pretty crazy. Nobody didn't really say why or how or anything like that. Uh, 2005. 1968 to 2005. Okay. Um, but 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 definitely wanted to react uh, to him again because uh, I wanted to get more in the style. Um, like that's one thing that we don't do if we react to somebody. Oh, I don't know about this. We try to give it another chance for me reacting to him again and just trying to, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Get into it, but uh, definitely ready to go ahead and jump into this. Um, y'all know this channel, make sure I hit the like button and that subscribe button, but yeah, definitely have to uh, you know what I'm saying, let y'all know that because uh, I don't know, it's just one of those things, though. Yeah, I just yeah. it's just one of those things, it's just being honest, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, uh, we aren't people that's gonna fake the shit and tell y'all something and go, no, you know what I'm saying, we're gonna yeah. let y'all know what it is, but uh, let's go ahead and jump right to it. At the Montreal Comedy Festival, Late Night with David Letterman. Please welcome Mitch Hedberg, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. I, I, all right. <laughs> I was going to say, How's everybody? but then I refrained. <laughs> Did uh, um, anyone see me on a, a Letterman show? No? All right. <laughs> All right, I know, like four million people watch that show and I don't know where they are. I cannot locate them. But I believe that, you know, that's my dream introduction right there, you know. You might have seen this next comedian on the David Letterman show. But I, I believe more people have seen me at the store. You know, and, and that would be a better introduction. You might have seen this next comedian at the store. And people would say, hell yes I have. He likes kiwi fruit. <laughs> yeah. I didn't like kiwi at first because I thought it was like watermelon. I thought you had to spit out the seeds. No, I, that, was, that was a risk doing that joke. <laughs> this jacket is dry clean only, which means it's dirty. <laughs> Dry clean only, all right, here we go. Here we go, I'm ready to go to the bar. <laughs> hey, I think a rotisserie is like a really morbid Ferris wheel for chickens. It's a strange piece of machinery. We will take the chicken, kill it, and impale it, and then rotate it. And I'll be damned if I'm not hungry. <laughs> Because spitting chicken carcasses make my mouth water. I like dizzy chicken with some mashed potatoes. <laughs> he probably like the chillest comedian I've ever seen. I would say, yeah, he's definitely... He likes stupid chew. Too chew. <laughs> you know, you can't, you can't please all the people all the time. And last night, all those people came to my show. <laughs> Do I got watermelon in my teeth? I feel like they got free watermelon in the bag and I've been overindulging. I opened up a yogurt and underneath the lid, it said, please try again. They were having a contest I was unaware of. But I thought I might have opened the yogurt wrong. <laughs> or, or maybe, maybe your play was trying to inspire me. Come on, Mitch, don't give up. Please try again. <laughs> A message of inspiration from your friends at Yo Play. Fruit on the bottom, hope on top. I'm so unanimated once the cameras are rolling. 
<laughs> at the wrong time to be unanimated, I would say. All right. I can't wait till this set's over because I have a roll of lifesavers in my pocket and pineapple is next. You know, if I made an orange juice, I wouldn't be so hardcore on people. I would be more polite, like, I would not print shake well on the card, because you don't know how good people can shake, you know? I would write, shake to the best of your ability. <laughs> they don't have a diagram that shows the uninitiated how to shake. All right, put it over here, then put it over here, then put it over here quicker. <laughs> I like to work in Las Vegas. Las Vegas is a very exciting town. And, uh, I work at the Riviera Hotel. Uh, there's four comedians on the bill, and we all had similar hair because we were all using the Riviera in-house shampoo. <laughs> it was two-in-one shampoo. Two-in-one is not a good term because but yeah, three and one. Real, because one is not big enough to hold two. That's why two is created. If it was two and one, it would be over. That shit funny though. That shit funny. I like to play blackjack. It's my favorite game. And my friend is a blackjack dealer. And on his forearm, he has a tattoo of an ace and a jack. See, I'm a blackjack player. On my forearm, I'm going to get a tattoo of a 10 and a two. <laughs> and then maybe later, a king. <laughs> I wish 12 was a game in Las Vegas. All right. I basically said the joke again. <laughs> I get up in the morning and I make myself a bowl of instant oatmeal and then I don't do anything for an hour, which makes me wonder why I need the instant oatmeal. <laughs> I could get the regular oatmeal and feel productive. <laughs> I like Kit Kats unless I'm with four or more people. <laughs> I work at this club in Nashville, and uh, it's a you know five night a week club or something. And uh, I wasn't getting very many laughs, so the club owner took me aside. He said, "Mitch, you know you're not getting a lot of laughs. You're gonna have to vacuum." He made me vacuum the club. It was embarrassing. So I told the next guy, "Hey, y'all gotta start laughing. Otherwise, don't drop anything." <laughs> Were they a good crowd? Yeah, they were neat. <laughs> some, com some comedy clubs, they, they hand out comment cards. And those are rude. I don't like those. You know? Like, I'll pretend this is one here. Like, people fill it out, you know, there's a name and address, and there's a line that says comments, and, and people write down what they thought of the show. And sometimes people write negative things, and that's not necessary. <laughs> like, some, I read something that say, Mitch sucks. Then you look up above, it has their name and address. <laughs> That's right, I do suck, but I got a lot of free time. <laughs> Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Good chat, Brad. Now, that was good, though. Yeah. That was pretty good. It's just super chill. Yeah, it's super chill. Super chill, he, he's straightforward. You know what I'm saying? It's yeah. just, uh, the style is different from what we used to. Yeah. Um, but y'all already know, uh, other videos, uh, y'all want us to react to, make sure y'all comment down below, let, let us know. Um, but y'all already know, hit that like button, that subscribe button, catch on.